Hi there, I'm Matt Montgomery. I'm part of the agronomic team here in the central and west central part of the state of Illinois for Pioneer. And today we're in a 20 year continuous cornfield in my territory that's absolutely inundated with rootworm larva or has been inundated with rootworm larva. We have two untreated rows, rows that did not receive insecticide. And this is a product that did not have a rootworm trait associated with it. And because of that, we had a lot of rootworm feeding and you can see that plants behind me lodged. They had so much root feeding, such a lack of root material that they literally fell over from that. A level of injury that I haven't seen for quite a while. Now, you can see the lodging behind me. Here's the kind of root injury that we're looking at. You can see almost no root material left on that primary root system. And you can see that as that plant fell over and then tried to upright itself, the larva fed on those brace roots as well. We also have evidence of maybe after the fact rootworm larva population because if you go out into this field you can find some very strong evidence of adult feeding. This is the window painting caused by adult beetles, those adult beetles that resulted from those larvae and you can see they've stripped the green tissue off of the leaf right here almost forming a tissue paper like level of injury. Now, why do we bring this pest up? Well, we bring it up for a few different reasons. Of course, it becomes a harvest issue and it's an interesting pest to talk about, but we bring it up primarily because this pest fell off the radar screen over the past few years. In 2015, we received devastating amounts of rainfall that literally drowned those larvae to death as they were hatching out from eggs drowned those larvae to death and caused them to starve as they wandered aimlessly in those saturated soils. Fields like this and other observations that we've made in 2018 strongly indicate that that pest is on the rebound. We've been putting out a series of yellow sticky traps and a network of traps throughout the state for the last few years to try and figure out if that pest was on the rebound. We did so last year, we're doing so this year, and we'll be informing you through periodicals, through material like this, about what we're seeing when it comes to that population. That will give us a regional and statewide perspective on this pest, but it does not give us an idea of what you might look at in your specific location. The only way you can have an informed idea about what this pest looks like on your farm going into 2019 is to put those yellow sticky cards out yourself and monitor those on a weekly basis. If you wind up with a few to several beetles per trap per day, that strongly indicates coming intense pressure in 2019 and you need to be looking at some kind of traded product. We'll keep you informed about what we're seeing. We plead with you one more time to get those traps out, to monitor for this pest and make an informed decision going into 2019. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.